Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Wednesday meditation gathering. I'm so glad you're all here to share this time together. Meditation gathers energy when we meditate together. This week we have Robert Perry, who will lead us in meditation. Robert started us off with meditations when COVID first arrived, and the meditations have been going strong ever since. We're so happy that Robert's with us today. And um, over to you, Robert. Okay, I'm unmuted now. Yeah, thank you very much. It's great to be back. It's is it has it been two years? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's it. amazing. Um, okay, so I'm going to get right into it this morning. Really good to see all of you. Many of you uh, seen again for the second, third, tenth time. Uh, I'd like to. I couldn't pass up doing today's lesson, which is lesson one. If you're on the calendar you know, the, the January 1st track. Today's lesson is lesson 124, Let Me Remember I Am One With God, and it's distinguished in a couple of ways. One is it's the only time where the workbook asks us to sit down and have a quiet time for a solid half hour. Uh, and it is the only place in the workbook that mentions the word meditation. So I just thought we can't, we can't pass this out. So what I'd like to do, there's no time to go through the entire lesson before we have what will be for us a 20 minute meditation, but I'd like to go through selected bits of the lesson because they will provide, I think, a really great foundation for our meditation. And they'll provide us with information that's important for meditation in general going forward. So let me share my screen here. So the lesson, and I'm sure some of you are on this, is lesson 124, let me remember I am one with God. Now, I think that we may often think about being one with God as something that is inspiring, that is meaningful, meaningful for us on a metaphysical or theological level, that, that means we can look forward to a state that one day will be permanent, a state of mystical union with God that is unbounding peace and joy, all of which is true. But what this lesson does really is it, it's very inspirational. It, it makes the implicit statement that oneness with God is not just a comforting and inspiring idea on the metaphysical level. It's not just something that gives us hope for, for that one day experience and one day permanent state. It gives us everything we need now. It's the source of all that we need as we walk through our day and our days. So I've highlighted certain portions that really put that across. And while I read these, just try to imagine that what it's talking about in these spots is yours, can be yours, and realize that it comes from oneness with God. So, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll read these without a lot of comment. So if you want to just kind of take is, this in and imagine this is yours. And remember, it comes from being one with God. Okay. Protection guaranteed in all we do. Power and strength available to us in all our undertakings. We can fail in nothing. Everything we touch takes on a shining light which blesses and which heals. At one with God and all the universe, we go our way rejoicing with the thought that God himself goes everywhere with us. Our shining footprints Imagine your footprints actually shining. Point the way to truth. 
for God is our companion as we walk the world a little while. And those who come to follow us will recognize the way because the light we carry stays behind, yet still remains with us as we walk on. Today, we will not doubt his love for us, nor question his protection and his care. We will not question his protection and his care. We feel him in our hearts. Our minds contain his thoughts. Our eyes behold his loveliness, his loveliness in all we look upon. No miracle can ever be denied to those who know that they are one with God. And this means no miracle to give the world. No thought of theirs, but has the power to heal all forms of suffering in anyone, in times gone by, and times as yet to come, as easily as in the ones who walk beside them now. Today, we would experience ourselves at one with him so that the world may share our recognition of reality. So, what an amazing vision of what it means for our life right now that we are one with God. Now, I've highlighted the rest in different colors than the yellow. The blue is basically our instructions for the meditation time. Okay, there's not a lot of instruction as you'll see. So I'll read the blue now. Sometime today, whenever it seems best, basically in five minutes, devote a half an hour or 20 minutes to the thought that you are one with God. This is our first attempt at an extended period for which we give no rules nor special words to guide your meditation. And there is that one occurrence of meditation in the workbook. What he's saying is we're giving you a long period and we're not going to tell you what to do with it. Now, we will have meditation instructions later in the workbook. We've had a lot that have come earlier, but the workbook with this lesson is starting to move in this interesting direction where more time and frequency is asked of us slowly and where less instruction about what to do in that time is given us. It's an interesting development. So how do we know what to do with our meditation time? We will trust God's voice to speak as he sees fit today. Certain he will not fail. Abide with him this half an hour. He will do the rest. So what I'm going to suggest we do is ask God's voice, ask the Holy Spirit, what, how we focus our minds in meditation in this time that we will have. Um, and, and trust that there will be some sense of direction. I had my, what he calls, holy half an hour earlier this morning, and I got really helpful guidance about how to meditate during that time. To continue with the blue here, this half an hour will be framed in gold with every minute like a diamond set around the mirror that this exercise will offer you, and you will see Christ's face upon it in reflection of your own. So this meditation is like looking into a mirror to see your true face, Christ's face, in that mirror. That mirror is framed in gold, and 30 diamonds are set around the frame. It's a beautiful image, isn't it? Now, the green is really important. I won't dwell on it, but because he's asking of us a half hour for the very first time in the workbook, he wants to give us motivation to do it even if we think nothing happens. So all the green there is him telling us, even if you think nothing happens, 
it's absolutely worth doing. Let me go ahead and read that part. Your benefit will not be less if you believe that nothing happened. You may not be ready to accept the gain today. Yet sometime, somewhere, it will come to you, nor will you fail to recognize it when it dawns with certainty upon your mind. Perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, you will see your own transfiguration in the glass, the mirror, this holy half an hour will hold out to you to look upon yourself. When you are ready, you will find it there, within your mind and waiting to be found. You will remember then the thought to which you gave this half an hour. Thankfully aware, no time was ever better spent. Even though you thought nothing happened, you will be aware that no time was ever better spent. Perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, you will look into this class and understand the sinless light you see belongs to you. The loveliness you look on is your own. Count this half hour as your gift to God in certainty that his return will be a sense of love you cannot understand, a joy too deep for you to comprehend a sight too holy for the body's eyes to see. And yet, you can be sure, someday, perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, you will understand, you will understand, and comprehend, and see. The, the part in the green, I wanted to make sure that we, we looked at, just because this can sustain us through all those meditations where nothing seems to happen. And it seems like we've wasted our time, not yet aware, no time was ever better spent. Okay, so if we could have the full 20 minutes, 20 minutes, Sharon, I know that takes us past the half hour, um, you know, 10 30 is a bit, but I really appreciate that. I know you're keeping time. Is that right? I don't see, I don't see you, Sharon, but. Um, yes, I'm keeping time. Okay. So if you could give us that, that'd be great. So let's go ahead and close our eyes now. And I'll lead you into the beginning of it and leave you to yourself for the majority of the time. So begin by repeating to yourself the idea, let me remember I am one with God. And just call to mind some of the wonderful benefits that we saw in the yellow highlighted passages coming from the fact that we're one with God, the protection, the care, the sense that we walk the world filled with joy, we can fail in nothing, our footprints shine to leave, to light the way to those behind us. Everything is contained in this idea of being one with God. And now lean on him for what you will do in this meditation. Ask his voice how you can focus your mind in meditation for this time.
It may be a meditation method you've used before, one that's been especially effective for you, or you may get something totally new. If nothing has come, let's just keep asking for another half minute. And now begin to focus your mind in whatever way you've been guided. If nothing has come, just use something that's worked well for you before. And we'll enter the silence now.
open your eyes slowly and come back into the room. We have 13 minutes left for sharing your reflections and your questions. If you'd like to speak, raise your hand or use the reactions button at the bottom of the screen and I'll invite you to take yourself off of mute. If you'd like to ask Robert a question or a comment with confidentiality, put your message in the chat function at the bottom of the screen and I'll reject. Catherine, take yourself off mute. Robert, thank you so much. That was really beautiful, both the reading and the way you set us up for meditation. And I just want to say how much I value your amazing knowledge of the course. And um, I don't aspire to it for myself. It's not the way my mind works, but to learn, you know, just you know, every time you talk, there's something, you know, like knowing that this is where the word meditation is used and that it's a turning point in the course where we're encouraged for more spaciousness. Those bits of information somehow really add something in. And when you combine them with your obvious um, intention and ability to go beyond the words like you said you know you spent time in silence and received your own personal guidance about meditation for you i just i find it really rich and um yeah thank you it really yeah it led me to some precious time with god today thank you very much robert thank you sorry robert you're on mute let me unmute you Yeah, thank you very much. I'm really glad that your time was, was it sounds like it was a rich time. Uh, you know, I, I, people say, oh, you know so much. And what I always say is it's been my day job for my adult life. So, I mean, anybody in that amount of time would rack up a lot of knowledge. But one thing that's been increasingly impressed on my mind over the years is we have no idea what a bottomless ocean the course is. We naturally, as humans with the way our minds work, we take our picture of it and we think that picture and the course itself are kind of the same thing. And we don't know how much richness and unbelievable wisdom is there. So I feel like in some ways I'm just getting started. But thank you very much. That makes sense to me and it makes me think of the line, you cannot conceive of all the loveliness you will see, you know, mm -hmm. like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'd be interested to hear if anybody felt they had guidance about how to meditate. Um, Annie, oh, take I see step. Annie's hand. Take yourself off and mute, Annie. Um, I don't know. It was fascinating because I had huge resistance today to doing it. Um, I, it's unusual for me because I do a lot of meditating. And I, I, I suddenly I did, right towards the end of the meditation, I get this voice that says very loudly, let go. Mm. I was trying too hard to do what you've been telling me to do. Mm. Or, or the lesson I'd been saying, do this, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it was just a I had to laugh at myself, but I, I loved it. Thank you very much, Robert, for your, I adore this lesson. I think it's one of the, the most wonderful lessons in the course. Mm. And it was lovely to have it experienced as a group. So thank you very much. And it sounds like you got the guidance in the end. Yeah, that's great, that's great. Thank you. Okay. We'd like to share. While we're waiting for somebody to step forward, um, I'll just mention that when I had my, my meditation this morning, I asked, which I never do, I, I don't ask how to meditate because um, I have certain te techniques that I found useful from the course for me. But I, I got clearly to do um, something that 
Jesus instructed Bill to do the day before the course started coming through, which is to repeat over and over, here I am, Lord. And I love that line, and I love the concept, but I don't, when I have tried it as a meditation focus, I haven't had good meditations in the past. And for some reason, it just clicked this morning. Um, so it, it was like the right thing for me to do this morning, and it felt good that, you know, I got something, it worked. So that was my experience earlier today. So, anybody else? Yeah, hi, Robert. I just wanted to say that uh, you just shared something which um, really touched me. The, uh, I've, I've been reading lots of books on um, different, different ideas about awakening, and things like that, and uh, which aren't course related necessarily, but, uh, um, but it just occurred to me as you were talking about the depth of the course. I thought, I think I'll just read the course deeply every day, just spend an hour reading the song of prayer or manual for teachers, just, just allow it to go in, allow it all to come in more. And, uh, and that'll be my reading. That's my book. Thank you. Mm, that's great. Yeah, I, I think we have no idea how much we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. We'd like to share. So I see a hand from Cheryl. Okay. Take yourself off of mute, Cheryl. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Robert. That was so beautiful. I remember being at the first one two years ago and really enjoying that too i just always love your presence and what you bring and thank you so much um mine's not particularly profound but it was very useful <laughs> um at the moment i'm um, having quite a lot of difficulty focusing um anyway and uh the fact that you you talked about you know asking what for focus um i've got massive big whiteboard all over my wall I'm, I'm writing a lot of different ideas as they come to me and just the visual that came to me was just a black dot in the middle of my big uh, clear whiteboard as focus and just to focus on that and that um, just helped to I suppose still my mind and put me into that black spot I mean a lot of a lot of things came to me because my, my mind is very active anyway but though it was more focused in in terms of what uh the experience of life that I normally have and so um that was beautiful so I just kept coming back to that black dot mm. so um yeah that sounds That's great. Thank yeah, you. I mean, in the course, there's a lot of meditation instruction, but all of it assumes the fundamental importance of focus. You know, it's not course meditations are not sort of open and exploratory. Uh, they're all very focused. Um, so it sounds like you got a, an image that really helped you with that focus. Yeah, and that's something that I can take forward just, yeah, every day. I feel like uh, watching your little recording from now on, let's see if I can do that, the recording of what we've just done. Yeah, oh, all right. Very useful. Yeah, I hope that thank helps. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Robert, for um, leading us in meditation. It was so inspiring. I so appreciate it. And please take yourself off mute and show your appreciation to Robert. Thank you for having me. Great thank, thank you, you Robert. Thank you, Robert. Thank, you, Robert. Thank, you, Robert. thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, Robert. Bye bye. Thank you, Robert. Thank you.